Hello and welcome back to Fabric doing chapters 50, levels 56 to 65. This is the conclusion. Um, level 56, from the beginning I knew the end would host the trickiest. The trickiest of levels. So here we go. So this is a bit of a labyrinth uh, we need to run. Just connect everything together. That's it. Put gravity. Um, when you get over this one, you can disconnect. Turn the gauntlet around. When you get over this, you can uh, do it again. And your QR code is here. It basically says this is the wrong game. I love you. I just go in here. And uh, yeah, that's the maze. I didn't find this one too hard myself, so. And you can get on top of the maze if you really have to. Uh, all I had learned was to be demonstrated, but the essential ingredient to success was sheer determination. This one I do not like. This one had me. Oh, I, I can't stop. I, I was so aggravated by this. I had to use a walkthrough myself. Uh, I still do it differently though. and I will show you basically what I do. So I made it a little bit more easier. Uh, just come off the back here. Uh, okay, so this is where I differ. I'm going to jump down onto this one and if you kind of Move yourself in the middle there. You can just flip and flip. And that's it. And then just run down the back here. It's the easiest I can give you that level. Uh, a timelessness surrounded me. I felt the rush, but I forced to stop and think. Level 58. Um, okay, so the easiest way to do this one, flip, run down here somewhere, and you want to get these two together, now this is a little bit tricky, you want to you want to be in the corner like that, this will stop you from flipping out, and then you can just I left the majority of my mind's coherence with that box. Level 59. Uh, oh, this one. This one is also horrible. Uh, easiest way inside the box is just to pull down here and kind of manoeuvre yourself so you can... You can pull back and you're in the box. Um, you want to now get into a matter like that so you can fall into the box of the inner side and then come back out. Where was this thing? Then you got to find out where it is. Could be anywhere. Okay, so sh um, okay, now we want to fall back out. fell off um, okay so what we have to do um, you see that there that's what we're aiming for this one here so to get to that we have to keep tossing and turning ourselves until we're at the right angle and I think one more a moment I think if we go here maybe this one That should be it there, I think. Yep, that's the one that we're after. So go to the corner here. And just... Flip yourself. You'll land on it. Go to the middle one here. And now you can get on the other side of that box. 
easiest way I can describe the puzzle to you. So, oh, I didn't read it. You'll have to pause it and have a look. Sorry about that. Um, okay, I'm going to do this a little bit different. Uh, I find this one fascinating because I don't even need to spend any space time at all. And even in the secondary uh, option, which normally you would just bend that and that, um, I can actually get around this one. I'll show you. I reckon this should be an achievement. Finding a way of not bending space time at all. Uh, so I'm uh, doing gravity flutes, but no, no bend space time at all for that whole level. How cool is that? Yeah. Uh, my memory was haunting me. It was as if I had seen the place before. Okay, uh, this one did my head in as well. This was hard to figure out. Uh, I actually had to end up using a walk through myself for this one. And unfortunately, I can't change it. Wait for that to stop because you won't be able to jump. Uh, you just gotta. I don't even know if there's an alternate way of solving this. You just have to wait until all the animations changes. Uh, then put yourself back. Uh, unbend it. And bend this. And that's the end of that level. Alright, as I said, I don't think there's a whole kind of way of solving that one. The log went on. The time and the space themselves suffered from the devastation. This ruined fragment of reality is the legacy of it. Okay, I do this different to other people. How easy is that? <laughs> Believe me, other people do it a lot more complicated. Uh, vertigo is taking over. I had no notion of location. And I'm saving you a lot of vertigo. A lot of flipping. Oh, I hate this one. Yeah, this. Uh, I hate this one. Uh, go to the underside. Flip this one. I, I I get yeah vertigo on this one. Definitely. Can I jump that? Yep. Um. Okay, so we're in there. Now we have to put another one here. I've got no choice. Um, so in there. Too bad I can't. Um, I think I'm actually up to this room here. there. <laughs> Extremely lucky. That one's a hard one. The amount of mental fatigue is way more than I could take. It was time to... What was that? Is anyone there? I don't get this story <laughs> at all. Okay, uh, this can be a bit pedantic. Um, so you can... Tr I'm put a block out there. Uh, jump on that. Try and put one up the top if you can, it's hard to find. Okay, let's see if we got that right. Got it right, wow. Uh, you're going to have to put a block there to get on top. Um, you want to unbend it now, and believe it or not, you want to put uh, another block. 
about two down so about there um, is the best way I can describe it okay we're going to put another block out and trying to get on the edge and we're going to put the grey one out about two blocks down again about there now hopefully this works um, so what we want to do is now and we want to bend this down to the first one get on top and that's how you do that what is this place who are you where am I so this is the final level uh, what we have is a virus eating away the world and we're using this level uses all the mechanics that you've learned. I'm going to solve this a lot different than other people. Uh, the biggest difference is right here. So what I'm going to do is put out a red block and a red block. And this saves so much monotony. And I'm just going to jump this. And uh, that's just saved so much time. It's crazy. Um, and there we go. Uh, next one I'm going to do is I'm going to put a yellow block out. Um, about the middle. Um, so now you want to flip. Now this is very easy to get, get lost in. Uh, the basic is you kind of want to just keep flipping while you're like um, basically that's how we're doing it. Um, so now what we want to do, I think we want to flip it on this side. this here so I use the to find out which way I'm flipping the exit portal um, what I, I actually just unbended something shouldn't have done um, so I we'll use a stepping stone here we can drop down all the way down to the bottom here that saves a lot of time Here's our last grey block. Uh, just see if you can find. There we go. That'll do. And we are so far ahead of the disease. We have nothing to worry about. And we've saved a few blocks. We've actually got three blocks to spare uh, by doing it that way and so you can use any block blue or red whatever you want and that's the end of the game test run completed test difficulty level basic subject result satisfactory subject status archive for further assignment Waiting, input to terminate execution and that's it so who did this or let's have a look so this is fabric and we have it on the steam store um, but it's no longer for sale on the steam store so my guess is it'll disappear soon uh, when was it released 2016 uh, very positive as done by Torrens labs um, this is pretty much the uh, pinnacle of the product um, what I find interesting like Torrent Labs I believe their motto is don't drown but if you go to their website you can see it's kind of doesn't exist anymore it's uh, been I don't know if the company got liquidated or it's submerged into nothingness but uh, basically it's just got uh, it's now a home to a blog more than anything um 
However, what's interesting is when you go to Ichio, Torrent Labs actually still exist. We are a group of enthusiastic people who happen to be interested in game development. Our first big project is Fabric, a first person puzzle game. We had started our journey in Ankara, Turkey. Now we are scattered across the globe, still making games for fun. And I think uh, Torrance Labs is not a commercial entity, but rather a small community. So the commercial side of it is uh, finished. Uh, that's why it's no longer on the Steam store. That's why Fabric is no longer. Uh, they've invented Psycho Tetris, Infight, Don't Drown. Um, and that, as I said, that seems to be their motto, Don't Drown. Um, Astro Souls. Maybe you can get Fabric here. Oh, it's only a demo. Okay. Uh, Massacre Tactics and Purple Haiku. Uh, now, what's interesting is further... So when you go into the credits of Fabric, it says that uh, a Boris Michael Soilu um, was responsible for the original concept of Fabric. And this is uh, just a picture of what the original concept was. Now, um, this was part of a... Um, where is it? A seven-day uh, first-person shooter contest and uh, it evidently was well received I don't know if it won but um, people were so impressed with the idea that uh, it was then handballed over to three level designers who uh, designed the fabric that we know today however it's interesting that fabric uh, that Michael Soilu actually originally invented was based off a, another game called Fortline and what he wanted to do was bring the 2D version of Fortline into a 3D perspective so let's take a look at that so this is uh, what Michael Boris Soilu originally uh, where he got the idea for the prototype um, from got it from Nitrome who a game called Fortline where as you can see you have to bend space time but it was on a platformer and then you have to unbend it. And uh, my, uh, Michael Borisoilu put this on a 3D scale. And uh, from there it was handballed to three um, developers uh, who loved the concept. And, um, and these level designers uh, went their own way uh, with it, creating fabric. Uh, the first one was Atul Cocker and then uh, two other developers. So uh, how about if we have a look at Atul Cocker? And here we have the principal crew behind Fabric. So Atul Cocker has his own YouTube channel and um, he's got 15 subscribers. I want to actually point out uh, some of the things he has on his channel. So he's got the uh, a version of Fabric that was in the very early alpha progress. Let's have a look at it. So here in, uh, he's using U Unity, you can see him uh, using the game engine in order to create the level and uh, this is uh, what it originally uh, looked like. Having said that, they were, I think there might have been a chance of using a level editor um, as he did implement that in other games. So this is pre-fabric. Now this was, um, I believe it was already released on a mobile version. Uh, I don't think it's for sale anymore as well. Um, now it originally started off as a school project after, so he was still pretty young. And um, it grew from there. It borrows, what I like about this, this one does have a level editor connected to it and uh, where you could make up your own levels and puzzles which is fascinating same principle by uh, is uh, so you click on one of the white dots and you're at, that's where you can bend space time and bring it back in your again your objective is simply to get to the exit portal um, i really like this and uh, i wish uh, something like this was implemented in the 3d version of fabric 
Uh, now, if you want to get this one for yourself, you can. So, if you want to play this one for yourself, uh, that's the address you need to go to uh, at the top, and you can download that uh, version, uh, which was originally for sale on mobile. And this is his LinkedIn account. Um, as you can see, he now works for Chimera Entertainment for um, Angry Birds Evolution. Um, and this is what Atul Koka does now. As I said, he lives in Germany, um, but he's in charge of Angry Birds Evolution. So, good luck to him. And on his website, he basically says, um, I've been making games since a decade and playing them since before I could read. And this is how you can contact him. And he has uh, various features here. So he has his own Twitter account. Uh, and this is his Twitter feed if you uh, want to follow him. Uh, interestingly, he's got a profile picture of uh, Fabric 2. It's actually... Uh, you hear trumpet playing in the distance, so it's a uh, it's cool. I ran a book reading guy in the subway, <laughs> and on his Twitter feed he has uh, what a the labyrinth level of fabric would look like on Fabric Two, and it looks like uh, as you bend space time, it would have s said something. I can't see what it would have said, but uh, evidently it would have given a message. Uh, that, that looks fascinating. Here we have a small gif of uh, another one of their levels. Wow. By the looks of it, uh, some early test designs. Another one. Another one. Again, another early look design. And here we're informed that uh, definitely Fabric was originally intended to have a, its own in-game level editor. And I wonder if things would have changed desperately if they had uh, made that. Again, another post showing that uh, it was originally intended to have an in-game editor, level editor. For people to be able to make their own puzzles. And this is what Atul Koka actually looks like. As I said, originally Turkey, now lives in Germany and uh, working on Angry Birds. Looks a bit angry. <laughs> and this is what Atul looked like at the time of the creation of Fabric. Again, Atul. But before we do that, I uh, got my hands on the prototype of uh, Fabric 2, and uh, this is it, I'm playing it. Um, this is uh, was entered into, I think, a Ludum Dare competition, or the FPS, 7 day FPS competition. Um, it's, little, it's, it's really, it's in development now, the uh, developers lost interest in it. Um, I'm not sure why, just because I, I, I honestly feel that uh, uh, Fabric needed a lot more love, um, it could really go somewhere. Um, unfortunately this gun doesn't, it's a bit dicky, and uh, uh, not a big fan of the music he chose for this one, uh, and as you can say, it's just uh, simple textures. Showing off the concept, and there's nothing really new that hasn't been done in Fabric One yet. Um, the only difference is the textures are um, you got slanted surfaces. This looks amazing, you know. The, the, uh, kudos for this. This makes me uh, feel like I'm back in Cairo. Boy, I've got to finish that game. Um, but yeah, wow. Make your own bridge. That's good. That's great. Yeah. 
Uh, this level is really dicky. Um, if you fall off the map, you'll break the game. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of things that just don't work on this level. I'm not a big fan of the new gun either. Um, I don't know if he's gone try to get, get badass. I, I the sniper sort of look that we had last time. So yeah, as I said, unfortunately it doesn't look like Fabric 2 or even Fabric will ever get out of um, I think it'll just go into non-existence, which is really, really sad. So look at the next developer.